talk. 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 Hello and welcome to my review of Toy Story, starring Tim Allen and Tom Hanks. So this is a very nostalgic film for me. I love this movie. I still love it to this day. But hey, I'm going to tell you that in my review anyway, so why not get it out of the way? So Toy Story all focuses around Woody. Woody is this little toy cowboy who ain't, who this kid Andy owns, and he gets overshadowed by this new toy he gets for his birthday called Buzz Lightyear. And let me get to the voice acting. Tim Allen does a phenomenal job as Buzz Lightyear. I feel he's a very, very good cast boy, even though the face doesn't really fit the voice. You can tell that the voice fits the character, and that's all that counts. But then let me get to Tom Hanks. Again, great, great voice acting. Except not only does the voice fit the, the character itself, but the face fits the voice of Woody. I mean, it fits perfectly. And, you know, I, I really feel like that is some great voice acting. All the other voice acting is good as well. Slinky, Mr. Potato Head, Ham, Rex. I love the Army Man. Army Man. I love how they talk in the voice actors. Let me move on to the direction. The tone of this film is very, very good. It's very simple, is the best way to put it for me. It's simple. It feels very simplistic. I don't even know if I can ask that word why. Right. I don't care. But it feels very simple. It feels very upbeat and simple. I guess the best term I can go for. Which could necessarily be a bad thing. But I don't think it's a bad thing because it fits the film so well. It's simple, just like a child's life is. Now let me move on to the story. Again, this is where most films have to itself for me to enjoy them. Let me, but then again, especially for animated movies, the story really has to itself for me to enjoy them. The humor in this film is golden. I love it. I love the humor. I mean, it's hilarious. I laugh at it today all the time. I watched it. I watched this film actually not too long ago. Love, 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 love this movie. It's phenomenal. I love the humor of it. I mean, let me move on to the actual story. I was bragging about the humor. The actual story is phenomenal. It's very about these two people have to become friends, which we've seen before. But the reason the story itself is because the toys come to life. And I was, you know, a really young kid. I always thought that was true, and I always tried to sneak in on my toys to see if they were still alive. And I, I, I was very sad. <laughs> I was always sad when I could never catch them. But, yeah, I love that premise, that toys come to life. That's an awesome premise, first of all. And I really, really love the relationship between Woody and Buzz, and Woody and Andy, and Buzz, how he is not, doesn't really have a strong relationship with anyone, or the natives, as he calls them in the, in the film at one point. But, <clears throat> sorry, I got something in my throat. But, yeah, he has a great relationship with everyone. Well, he doesn't. But that's good because he's not supposed to. He's supposed to be fish out of water. As with Woody, he has a great relationship with everyone. He's kind of the head honcho until Buzz comes around and everyone starts singing with him as the head honcho. So that is a phenomenal story arc there to realize, Buzz, you are at the bottom of the path because you don't even know you're a toy. You don't even know you are a toy, and that makes for some great scenes, including a very, very famous scene where Buzz and Woody, spoiler, are flying, and Buzz says, it's not flying, it's falling with style. I mean, I love that. I love that scene. I love this movie. I love many scenes in this film. My personal favorite, though, would probably have to be the I Am Mrs. Nesbitt scene. <laughs> Let me move on to the music. The music by uh, Randy Newman, You Got a Friend of Me, just an absolute classic. All the music is phenomenal, and all fits, it's very building, like uh, the I Believe I Can Fly song. Like, birds in the sky, this is an awful Randy Newman impression. But yeah, I love that song, it's very building, it fits the scene perfectly, all the songs fit the scenes perfectly. I love this song, I love the story, I love the direction, I love the voice acting. I just love this movie. This film gets an A+. I adore this film. If you have not seen it, please check it out. 
Please like, favorite, and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you.